The Central Valley is often called the food basket of the world, but is a label, it's a label many of us take for granted. Agriculture is still the largest industry in California, even bigger than the technology sector in the Silicon Valley. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson tells us about the huge effort to get more students to consider careers in ag. Educators say too many students think of agriculture as just people working in the fields. At Kerman High School, teachers are using one of the oldest organizations around to teach kids about ag today. <laughs> the art of preparing your animal for show at a county fair. It is a small part of what these students learn as members of Kerman's Future Farmers of America. Negative and DC positive. Ag instructor Toby Sheehan says as a teacher, he wants to open his young students' eyes to the wide world of ag. The hardworking people uh, in the fields picking and pruning, that is agriculture. But so is the chemist, the biotechnology, the truck driver, the secretary, they're all agriculture. Sheehan says ag's all-encompassing nature is part of the reason reason the FFA changed its name to the National Future Farmers of America organization. The skills that, that I teach are really integral, uh, not just to agriculture, but to society in general. Kerman High is a place where they embrace ag education. Students take classes ranging from ag mechanics to horticulture. FFA members, why are we here? It is a campus where the FFA has a huge presence. The organization's traditions are kept alive. Thank you, Madam Vice President. The Secretary will call the roll of members. Ashley DeWitt says the community service and public speaking are preparing her for life. Um, it's going to help them learn leadership skills that you need throughout your entire life. Kerman's ag program was recently thrust into the national spotlight when one of his students took top honors at the FFA's convention in Louisville, Kentucky. 17-year-old Wyatt Wolf has taken ag mechanics at Kerman High for the past four years. He was one of four students in the entire country to make it to the nationals. In October, Wyatt was named the winner in the area of proficiency in ag mechanics design and fabrication. Once we got back there, I was super nervous to have to do the interview. And then standing on stage and they called your name, it was, it was great. Wyatt was judged partly on the sheer amount of work he has done over the past year. He showed us some of his projects at his uncle's shop, a place where he spends a lot of time making things. I just like being able to take just raw materials that looks like a pile of nothing and turn it into something that we may use every day with the trucks or something that we could use in the field with the farm equipment. Redoing the trailer bed of his grandpa's 58 Dodge truck has been a labor of love. We had the cross members formed and the side rails formed. Wyatt's win is a source of pride for Kerman, but FFA advisor Corey Malloy says the fact that so many of their students won honors at the fair shows that the school's emphasis on ag is having an impact. I use agriculture to teach my students how to be productive members of society. And if they find a skill or they find something along the way that they enjoy that can, they can turn into a lifelong endeavor, fantastic. Malore and the other ag teachers are Kerman are having a lasting impact on students because many of them told us they want to become ag teachers just like Malloy. For Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson, KC24, Local News That Matters.